The United Nations Convention of the Rights of the Child is the most signed up to treaty in human history. It was first created in 1989 and has been signed by almost every country in the world. It is a list of things that children and young people, that is people under the age of 18, need to grow up to be happy, healthy and all they can be. Wales has been at the forefront of the children's rights agenda. It is the first country in the UK to have a children's commissioner and the Rights of Children's and Young People's Measure 2011 has made it law that every decision made in Wales has to consider the impact on children's rights. As a professional working with children and young people, there are five areas in which you can help to make sure that you uphold children's rights. Rights for all. Organisations should apply a rights-based approach for all to ensure they are doing what is in the best interests of children and young people. Relax, play and social. Organisations should promote children and young people's opportunities to relax, play, take part in activities and meet in social groups. Opinions and beliefs. Organisations should give children and young people a say and also should respect their thoughts and beliefs. Information. Organisations should make information available to children and young people in a way that is accessible and which they can understand. Language and diversity. Organisations should respect and support children and young people with their beliefs, customs and languages. It's not just in other countries that children are not being given all their rights. There are a number of issues for children in Wales. All young people have the right to be safe. Article 33 states that young people have the right to be protected from dangerous and illegal substances. In East Talbot, legal highs are a growing problem as they're very easy to access and young people think that as it says legal in the name that they're okay to take. We know that on legal high packaging it states that they're not for human consumption as they're dangerous and can be lethal compared to their illegal equivalent. As a young person, I have the right not to be discriminated against because of my age. This didn't happen in a shop near me where, as a young person, you have to leave all your belongings by the door, where they have the possibility of being stolen. Also, while you're going around the shop, there are staff members who will follow you around, and I personally feel judged because of my age. Um, this obviously isn't fair to young people. As young people, we feel we are discriminated purely because of our age, for example. Today we went into a market store that was selling all different scented products. We went in with another customer. We started picking up lots of different products and smelling them. The other customer did exactly the same as us. We were told to be careful and put down the products. The other customer was not. This customer was an adult. Therefore, we feel this is a clear act of age discrimination. This matter needs to be addressed in Neath Talbot. Article 16 of the UNCR states that we all have a right to privacy. As young people we should have independent lives but we all put it on the internet so then strangers know where we are, what we're doing and who we're with. So we're not only putting ourselves in danger but the people who we're with in danger which makes us very vulnerable. There are some children and young people in our communities that aren't given all they need by the grown-ups that look after them. All young people have a right to feel safe and be encouraged to be what the best they can be. As a professional working with children and young people, you need to make sure that you look out for signs of them not having their needs met. Children's rights are important in Eastport Hall, but because they are the future. And unless we protect their future, then we will be failing those children. Knowing about children's rights empowers children and people and gives them the skills and knowledge to be able to challenge if they think their rights aren't being considered. Ma cyngor i engdyd, ma cyngor ysgolion, ond mae'n weithdai a fes gallu ni mynd mas i'w rando ar farn bobl ifanc yn union gyrchol hefyd. To improve children's rights locally, we're listening to our children in their school situations, understanding when we go in there, it's their voice that's very important to us. Here at Wakada, to improve children's rights, we took it right back to the start. So looking at the first contact that the child or young person has with our organisation and ensuring that their voices are heard. And then to make sure that we work with children and young people in developing their care plans of support. Children and young people have the right to know their rights. The Children's Rights Unit has spent the last three years delivering workshops to over a thousand young people, supporting 12 schools to become rights respecting and developing training and resources. Yn y dyfodol, mae'n rhaid i ni sicrhau bod ni parhau i wrando 
ar leisiau pobl ifanc, ond ein bod ni'n datblygu sgiliau i wrando'n well hefyd. In the future, we need to involve a greater amount of stakeholders, especially parents, knowing that the children's voice is very important to us in school and at home. In the future, it's really important that schools and organisations continue to work in a rights-focused way, putting children and young people at the heart of what they do. To help them do this, we have developed five children's rights standards.